Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to set up your QuickBooks Online sales tax. Within QuickBooks Online, in the gray bar on the left-hand side of your screen, You'll go down to taxes and then select sales tax. If you're setting it up for the first time, like I am, you're going to see something that looks like this. Automatically calculate your sales tax. I'm going to choose use automatic sales tax. It's going to ask you for your address. This is my address. It's going to ask if you have any tax agencies outside of your state. I'm going to say no. And then it's going to say, well, we should call your tax agency something. So we'll creatively call it the Washington State Department of Revenue. Okay, sounds good to me. I'm going to click next. So it says everything is all set up. The next step is to create an invoice. We'll get there in one second. But first, let me close this. When it said it was all set up, it meant except for the part where it asked you for your filing frequency. And so I file my taxes once a year. I don't actually collect sales tax, so this is plenty good. If you're not sure how often you file your tax, um, this link isn't going to tell you. You just need to log into the Department of Revenue. So dor.wa.gov. Um, it's going to link you over to Secretary of State. If you're not in Washington, go figure it out for your own state. Like, what's your filing frequency? Um, for the people in Washington, your filing frequency is whatever it is for Washington. And then you could have a totally separate filing frequency for your city. I'm going to select save. So now I've set up kind of the framework or the shell, but there's a couple of things we can change around if we want. In the upper right hand corner, there's sales tax settings. I can click on that and I can change things. The tax agency that I'm talking about or thinking about here is for Washington State. If I had multiple, then I would see multiple down below. Over to the right, I can select Edit. When I select Edit, I can change my filing frequency. I can indicate my start date. I really don't know why it picked 2012. Um, General Frog wasn't around in 2012, but here we are. Uh, and then the reporting method, cash or accrual. I'm going to make it cash because most of my videos are going to be on a cash basis because it's just easier for me and faster for you. I'm going to say save. I would really discourage you from adding a custom rate. If for some reason you have a situation where you need a custom rate, you'll know that that applies to you. You'll add the rate, no problem. But for the rest of you, I'd like you to leave it set up as automatic. When it's set up as automatic, it means that QuickBooks is going to calculate the tax based on the information that you put in. Let's imagine that you set this up for one state, but then life happens and you need to add an additional state. Really quickly, what you'll do is go to sales tax settings in the upper right hand corner. In the upper right hand corner again, you'll click on add agency and then you'll pick the agency that you need and follow the prompts. I hope this video has been helpful. If there's anything that my team or I can do, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much and have a great day.